relevant that drill is playing on a good Friday or in a semi final. I always look forward to the start of the season because that's when we get to see if all the work that's gone in from the performance team, the coaches and the players has paid off. I think pre-season's a tough time because you you know you're coming in to build your foundations and build um, relationships with people. There's always new dynamics, new teammates, new systems that you need to learn. I think that the way that we do it here at Wigan with the culture and the lads that are around, it makes it really enjoyable. It's hard not to envision what it'd be like playing in a Wigan kit at a DW Stadium with it packed out, pulling that famous Wigan badge on. It's very hard not to think about that. My name's Ian Bentley. I've been with the first team for three years and my position is Head of Performance. The first day of pre-season is officially a testing day. That's not to say that we haven't been in contact with the lads for the, the months leading up to that. I mean, you don't need to go absolutely mad, it's just a bit of a gauge of where we're at. I always look forward to pre-season. It's a good opportunity for us as a performance department to get plenty of quality work in with the players. The programme changes and progresses over the week, so for example, up to Christmas, we might do um, hill sessions and conditioning work in different environments. Then after Christmas, we've got the training camp and then we're into the friendly. So there's always lots going on. And as new players join us uh, and players return from their off season, then things progress as well on field. We test and screen the players in all different areas. So our physio team will have a look at the lads and do a full screening on them. We'll also do various different strength tests. We'll do jump testing, skin folds. All the players will finish with a test of their endurance, um, which is the yo-yo. The reason we do this testing is because it, it one, keeps the lads on the toes, and then it also allows us to get loads of information which allows us to uh, adjust and plan uh, the lads' programmes in all aspects for the next few weeks. My favourite part about pre-season is sculpting your body, sculpting your mind, forging them relationships with people. And I think that's the best thing. Obviously, there's a lot of hard work to do, but you become closer with each other and it's not the coffees that you go for. That, that is an added bonus, the 5% of going for coffees and spending time outside of rugby. <laughs> Having a look to your mate at left and right here when you've just finished a tough wrestle session or you've just finished a tough weight session and he's he's really tired, he's bent over and I'm really tired, I'm bent over and we get each other through it and sometimes it's little words, you know, like come on mate I've got you. Um, and sometimes you're that, you're that tired, you can't speak, and it might be a look or you know putting your hand around somebody and saying, "Come on, I've got you." And I think that's where the the really tight knit relationships are forged. You're just more powerful if you're reaching, you slow to get off. So think small feet in, more feet out. See that big? You're, just not, you're going to be slower to get off the right. Sometimes I think if I get there quicker, I'm going to get there. Get off quicker, but if you're like that, get off first. I think 
pre-season's a tough time because you you know you're coming in to build your foundations and build um, relationships with people. There's always new dynamics, new teammates, new systems that you need to learn. But I think that the way that we do it here at Wigan, with the culture and the lads that are around, it makes it really enjoyable. And through my career, I've really struggled to take to that when somebody says enjoy it because you know like I say you're going through a really tough period and you know you, you train a lot of conditioning um, a lot of wrestle a lot of tough parts of the game what makes us good she's being soft on you know you can't get in with your top well, man of a mouse yes he's a man <laughs> but when you're doing it with the people that you enjoy spending time with and good people the tough times seem to go really quickly and you do get chance to enjoy it and I think that's something that's been really apparent to me coming to Wigan. Oh. 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 How relevant that drill is playing on a good Friday or in a semi final when you can't breathe, you can't get your words out, you're just going to keep making efforts on your own. Choose to fucking invest, choose to make efforts on your own. Alright? Sam, I saw you. You keep pushing yourself to that boundary, to that edge of your conditioning, and going a bit further, that's where you get fit on. You're mentally and physically tougher. Is that clear? Alright? Perfect. For us as a performance department, it's really important that we make sure that the players are robust going into the season and that they're able to perform and excel in their positions really and get the most out of themselves. Over the first couple of weeks, we'll have a bit of a smaller group. That means that it really simplifies it for us and we'll have a focus around skill and our physical development. I like to think it's really welcoming for the new signings. We bring them in, they get tested and they've all They've worked hard obviously in the off season, so they perform well. It's about integrating them into the group and then making sure that we're pushing them and that we can use the information that we get to, to design their programme to suit them. So there's a lot of conversations going on and getting to know each other, us to them and them to us as well. So we need to make sure that we work together really over the next few weeks to integrate them and get the most out of their pre-season. I'll be honest, like pre-season is one day at a time and I'm really looking forward to playing with the lads and getting coached underneath Matty because I think I've still got a lot left in me and a lot, lot left to learn. Even the short period of time I've been here, I'm just trying to gain the respect to the players and my teammates, the staff. And I think looking forward to the games, it's just, we're just building nice and slowly and you know we're training really hard and I think it's about what's coming next and what's, what's tomorrow. I've not looked too far into the future about what's coming with the games, but I am looking forward to it. It's hard not to envision what it'd be like playing in a Wigan kit at a DW stadium with it packed out, pulling that famous Wigan badge on. It's very hard not to think about that, but that's what gets me up in the morning. That's, that's what's getting me coming to training. That's what's getting me, giving me 100% when I'm on the field, is definitely pulling that w Wigan badge on and you know, it being you know ni nice, nice fit T-shirt, and I want to look good in the kit, and I want to play well for the fans and for my for my teammates. We've got through a lot of tough work, tougher work to come, but I've really enjoyed it with the with the staff and with the players because it shines through what type of character they are, and that's the type of characters you want to go through the tough periods of training with. And I can't wait to get to the games. <laughs>